Impressive, I know. Very few can achieve a mastery of the sky. Yet I have made an art of creating an updraft that allows me to soar. It's considered to be quite the masterpiece of aerial techniques, even among Naruto. With proper utilization of my superior skills, I see no reason why we couldn't easily dispense with Ganon. Now then, my ability to explore the firmament is certainly of note. But let's not, pardon me for being so blunt, let's not forget the fact that I am the most skilled archer of all the Rito. Yet despite these truths, it seems that I've been tapped to merely assist you. All because you happen to have that little darkness ceiling sword on your back. I mean, it's just asinine. Unless you think you can prove me wrong, maybe we should just settle this one on one. But where? Oh, I know. How about up there? Oh, you must pardon me. I forgot you have no way of making it up to that divine beast on your own. Good luck sealing the darkness! From here, we'll make our way to Goron City. Then, we'll need some adjustments on that divine beast so Daru can manage it as easily as possible. He's figured out how to get it to move. However, it's apparent that we still have much more to learn. But to think, that divine beast was actually built by people. That means we should be able to understand how it works and how to use it to our advantage. These divine beasts... So much we don't know, but if we want to turn back Calamity Ganon, they're our best hope. Tell me the truth. How proficient are you right now wielding that sword on your back? Legend says that an ancient voice resonates inside it. Can you hear it yet, hero?